Sports brought to you today by Jim White Honda. Despite another regular season MAC title for the UT men, their year once again came to an end in the NIT. With some youth now on the team, the question is, can they get over the hump? Tyler Segerman was out at practice and has more from the Rockets. Hey, Brett, watch this push in the back. We had that, that time period where it's like we're tired of going against each other every day. We're just ready to get things rolling. 12 more days until the Rockets can officially tip off a new campaign. And they come in with some talented youth. This freshman class is, you know, big Gergers. You know, he's a 20 year old freshman. He's 230 pounds. He's got some physicality to him. We're going to have, you know, four, four or five of those freshmen really help us. Highlighting that group is projected starting point guard Sonny Wilson, a three star recruit out of Detroit who's labeled as one of the biggest commits in program history. He doesn't turn it over, he's all about winning. Uh, any defense, you know, that, that's a great combination for a young point guard. It, it's going to be very exciting, you know, just for me to just come out to showcase my skills, but also me just being a point guard and a leader, you know, get my teammates involved, you know, creating for them, make sure they get their shots. Tasked with taking over for reigning MAC Player of the Year, Ray J. Dennis, won't be easy, but this team is already showing positive signs. We've done great. I feel like we've done better than probably the expectations of what having a whole bunch of freshmen is like. Obviously, it's going to be a little bumps and bruises, some learning curves. They're all growing at a, at a rapid pace. Dante Maddox Jr. returns as Toledo's lone double-digit scorer, following the losses of three all-conference selections. Yet, that really doesn't change much in the eyes of UT. Standard's the same. I think we've, we've set that pedigree, that standard for, for winning. And that expectation doesn't change just because we got a lot of new faces. Winning three straight MAC championships is, is huge. You know, now the tournament championship is the next thing, and, and uh, that's the one thing that obviously we need to overcome. 43 years it's been since the team last danced in the NCAA tournament. And although on the outside that streak may continue, this group believes they have the recipe. Maybe the league-wide there's some doubt about how good we're going to be. I think it's kind of re, you know, re-energized the staff. Uh, I like this team. We, we, we don't lack talent, that's for sure. In Toledo, Tyler Segerman, WTOL 11. Not only will Toledo open their season at home, but so too will Bowling Green. Both the Falcons men and women begin their play inside the Stroh Center in less than two weeks. And that is it for sports.